this is Good Deeds with Dr. Renee Sunday, and guess what? We're bringing it to you again. We're actually live in Noonan, Georgia. Yes, it's outside of Atlanta. You can Google it and see that it's outside of Atlanta. But you know we always bring you wonderful, wonderful, exciting people that's doing what? Good Deeds. We're actually here celebrating with Marlo Moore. She's an international artist that's doing it big for the kingdom of God. We have a wonderful young lady with us today that's an international fitness trainer. Yes, fitness trainer. You know we all be eating the wrong things sometimes, but she's gonna get us straight right now. Tell us what we should do and what we shouldn't do, okay? Her name is Miss Stephanie Jones. And we're gonna welcome her to Good Deeds. Welcome and welcome so much. She's a beautiful young lady, isn't it? See, if we lose some weight, we can actually look beautiful just like her. Welcome to Good Deeds. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Amen. Yes, I'm, I'm Stephanie with Boomshock Fitness. And uh, what we do at Boomshock Fitness, my mission is to basically be more of a lifestyle personal trainer. So not just personal training from the physical aspect, but when it comes to personal training, you need to be able to work on your mind, body, and your soul. So you need a, a combination of all those things. So you need to not only eat the right thing, but you need to process and be positive about your whole process. Um, a lot of times, because it's weight transformation is a very emotional thing. Yes, so yes. Some days you feel like it, some yes, days yes, you just yes. really don't feel like yes. it. So you really have to be grounded in all of those areas. Mm. Um, and when it comes to eating, just really understanding that it's not that you can't eat certain things. It's okay to eat certain things, but don't eat so much of so it. So much, yes, You have to yes. get into that habit of portion control and moderation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what I usually tell my clients that's struggling with that, mm -hmm. get, a, get a little um, salad plate, a little salt plate. Okay. Not the, the one that you use for your teeth. Yes. That one is like this big. Okay. But just the salad plate and use that okay. to help you with your portions. Uh-huh. And try to make sure that you eat about six small meals a day. So oh, if you break wow. it up in hours, you want to break it out about every, eat every three hours. Wow. Eat something small every three hours. Okay. You have a, you know, um, apple with some peanut butter on it mm -hmm. as a snack. Uh -huh. um, you can have um, cheese or yes, crackers yes. Uh -huh. as a snack. You can, you can even have um, the Tostito chips. With yes. The so you can have that as a, as a snack. So I can have potato chips. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> You didn't Moder say potato chips, did you? Oh, okay. So if you, if you have potato chips, okay, on the back of the potato chip bag, they have that nutrition label. Yeah, I don't, I don't look at that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go ahead. It's there for a reason. Yes. If, mm -hmm. people, if people pay attention to the nutrition labels that are on the back of their products, mm -hmm. you can still have the things that you like, but mm -hmm. you are now being conscious of how much you should Oh, wow. Have. So okay. So that 13 chips is 160 calories. Uh-huh. Eat 13 chips. Wow. That's it. Or eat half of it. Eat Slash that 130 and half. And one half. You know, so okay. You just have to be more conscious of it mm -hmm. because if mm -hmm. it's a lifestyle, it's not stressful. Yes. It's something yes. that you can continue right. on with. Right. But if you're trying to check this and yes. process yes. this, you'll fall off. So tell us about how much water we're supposed to drink. You hear that all the time. All the time. Water, water, water. So give us easiest, your advice. The easiest thing I tell my clients your body is made up of over half. 50% mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. you know, your whole inside, your water intake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What you need to do, what I tell my clients, mm -hmm. is the easiest thing. Take how much you weigh. Okay. Divide it in half. Okay. That's what you should drink in ounces. Oh, wow. Okay, we can do that. Yeah. That's the easiest, that's the easiest. Can we do what we should weigh or how much we weigh right now? How much you weigh right now? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Currently. we always trying to get out Currently. of something, right? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That's wonderful because we hear so many people say water, water, water. water so we really good. need to. Water but can we good. drink a regular drink or should we drink diet drinks? You, my, again, I, there's, I do not have a list of don'ts. Okay, okay. Because when you give a, when you give a list of do not do uh -huh, this, uh -huh. it's like a kid. You tell them don't touch it. That's oh, not. Oh, that's it. Like, okay, I'm gonna touch it. Yeah, that's right. So that's when right. I give a person a list of don't eat this, this, uh -huh, this, this. Uh -huh. That's what they're gonna create. Oh wow, yeah, yes, 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 so yes. So yes. if you want a, a diet drink, if you want a fruit punch drink, uh huh, uh huh, have eight ounces. But again, wow. pay attention to the nutrition label. How many, how much of that right. are you indulging? How much sugar is in it? Mm -hmm. how, many, how many calories is in it? Okay. So you just have to be conscious of what it is that you're eating. Oh, wow. Again, it's not that you can't eat it. Yes, yes. You just don't eat a whole lot of 
Oh wow. wow. It's too much of anything. Wow. But we have we having a wonderful time. Are we celebrate with Marlo Moore. Is she amazing? Oh, when she sing it just goes all over my body and my spirit. And she makes she's real with it. You can tell when she, it's a passion. And she's in her right purpose. Yes. Amen. Yes. Oh man, yes. amen. Yes. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> it's amazing. But I just really enjoy that you your passion is being healthy. For us to eat right, for us to do the right thing. Yes. And you know, we're gonna throw that word away of diet. No. I don't preach diet at all. Wow. I don't I don't give my clients a diet lifestyle. Mm. If you can replace diet with lifestyle, okay. the process will be more inviting. Wow. Something about diet just speaks limits. Okay. Diet speaks, okay, I'm only going to do this for two weeks. Mm -hmm. I'm only going to do this for 30 days. Okay. I'm going to do this for 90 days. Okay. And when it's a lifestyle, it's something that wow. you can continue on Okay. With. So I don't preach diet. Okay. Well, we have so many people want to know. Encourage them because, you know, you, and we all know it's easier for men to lose weight than women. But encourage someone that we just been trying and we just can't lose the weight. What would you suggest? Well, one, I give all of my clients the 80-20 rule. 80-20 mm. rule being, if you eat clean 80% mm -hmm. of the time, the 20% of the time that you indulge in mm -hmm. your chips or the, <laughs> uh -huh. the soft drinks, uh -huh. Uh -huh. it won't affect you in a bad way okay okay it's, it's okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. even fitness trainers mm -hmm. bodybuilders and things of that nature mm -hmm. they will have a treat day on their off season. oh wow okay so you know you you have to think that or realize that it's not it's not a box oh wow it's, it's, okay it's really not okay. a box that you're mm -hmm. in so the best word of encouragement that i can give is follow the 80 20 rule mm -hmm, mm -hmm. being in control of what you're eating 80 percent of the time should be clean mm -hmm. your fruits your vegetables mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know try to cut back on having a whole bunch of potatoes mm -hmm. if you're going to do potatoes sweet potato over baked potatoes Oh, I like sweet potato. You know, I'm from the South, so I love sweet potato. Can I put some butter on it and some cinnamon? And <laughs> See, you know, I do like you guys. Let's pray. Let's pray. <laughs> but I'm just being funny, you guys. The key is we need to do things in moderation. You know, we've been taught a lot of things of how to eat, but we have to what? Relearn and we have to relearn so we can make a change. Mm -hmm. And, and this is, is that's right. Especially <laughs> when you actually have been through childbearing age. And you know, sometimes we're so tired. Yeah. And, and the convenient quick. thing to do is to go to the fast food restaurant. Because it's quick. It's quick. It but quick is always not the right thing as we know, right? Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. But tell us how we can actually get in contact with you. And you told me this wonderful concept that I didn't know about that you could actually train over Skype. I do. Isn't that amazing? I do. As long as you have a computer or a smartphone where you can see my face, I can see yours, you can actually do a workout over the, over the internet via, you know, the wow, internet. Wow, wow, yeah, wow. So um, that, I call that my Skype training or Hangout is another um, mm -hmm. uh, avenue that I use. Um, so yes, do train oh, that wow. way. Oh, wow, okay. About um, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Wow, we have 24 hours, so thir just 30, 30 minutes. Just Wow. Well, tell us how we can contact you. You'll get, ooh, if I can do this over Skype, I don't have to be worried about wearing those little bit outfits and all that. I can just work out. Well, the best way to get in touch with me, all of my information is on my website, which is mm -hmm. boomshockfitness at gmail. I mean, boomshockfitness.com. I was giving you my email address. And that's B O O M S H O C K fitness.com. And wow. all of my contact information is, is on my website. Wow. That's so amazing, Miss Stephanie, that you asked Miss Stephanie Jones, you can actually help someone in the comfort of their homes. That's just the amazing thing about technology that we use it to our advantage to help us because it is some fears and some things that we shouldn't fear, of course, but I'll be honest and transparent that you don't want to go out around people when you actually uh, I haven't been training, yeah. so that's amazing. Mm -hmm. But thank you so much for being here with good deeds. Thank you. And I, oh, Miss Stephanie Jones, you just made me feel so good. <laughs> and you guys, you know I'm a healthy nut anyway. You know I'm an anesthesiologist, but I was just being funny. But I want you to be healthy. I want you to be able to be healthy, so you actually can stay on this earth and you can actually show people your purpose, so you can help someone else. What get to their purpose? We'll be back. This is Good Deeds with Dr. Renee Sunday. Hello family, it's Jermaine Moody and you're watching Good Deeds with Dr. Renee Sunday. 
for Dr. Renee Sunday, and yes, we are live here in Noonan, Georgia. I know by now you've Googled it to realize, yes, it's outside of Atlanta, yes. We're actually here celebrating with Marlo Moore, yes, the international artist, woman of God, Marlo Moore. And we want to welcome her just to be in her presence, just make you want to just dance and just take, keep your shoes off because you know you're in God's presence. Welcome, 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 Marlo, to our show. It's so good. To, isn't she beautiful? She has a glow all around her. Bless you. your heart. You so, much. God bless you. so tell us about Marlo Moore. Tell us about your ministry. Oh my gosh, where do I start? <laughs> Well, I, I, this is my second CD, Simply Marlo Moore, Unrestricted Praise and Worship. It comes out on Tuesday, March 11th. Yes, on all internet uh, distribution. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, and this is my second project, like I said. My first project was titled More to the Story. Oh, wow. And that came out in 2009. So, you know, I'm just so excited that God has given me endurance to mm -hmm. even do mm -hmm. another project. That's right. Amen. More to come. Amen. Amen. You know, she said something right there about endurance. You know, my, we were just talking before we started taping. My main thing I say now is what? Don't stop. Get, get it, it. Get it. it. <laughs> now, you got to do the shows with You know, we're musical people. But it's very important. God has given you a passion. God has given you a passion that he wants, of course, to go to your purpose. He has a plan for all of us, but we have to what? Don't stop. We have to have endurance yes. because things will come, but we have to not what? Don't stop. But tell us, oh God, this new album, tell us about the music that's oh on there. Oh my gosh. Like tonight, um, I've rendered a few of the songs, Have Your Way, mm -hmm. uh, which was a, a song just about submission to God mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Him being the forefront and wow. not your ideas, but that's right. His ways and not your ways, that's which right. we of course don't always understand, no, but we, we have don't. to be submissive to the Holy Spirit and let the Holy Spirit lead us yes, and not yes, our flesh. Yes, that's right. I also rendered a song called More Than Enough, mm. which is, I mean, God is more than enough. You know, He can do mm. exceeding abundantly all that we could ever ask or think. Mm. And if we just trust Him, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and so that song came. But you may have heard Tawanda Black Place every Sunday morning, my songs Holy mm -hmm, or All mm -hmm. of My Help. Yes. So, I mean, the mere fact that I have over two or three songs mm -hmm. it's just easy listening yes and i yes. pray that you guys go pick it up on tuesday i'm so excited about it it's so amazing i can send you i wish i had the cd with me but we could just get the actual cd and i'll autograph it as well oh wow isn't it we get an autograph isn't good deal <laughs> see we bring it to you what on the real I just want to, you know, because I have met so many people that actually is interested in actually singing. Can you give us some golden nuggets, things that we need to, you know, especially what we need to do, but a couple things that we shouldn't do, okay? <laughs> well, start with what we should do. Mm -hmm. What we should do is be Holy Ghost led. Mm. Ask Holy Spirit, ask God to direct our path because sometimes, and you've seen the difference that gospel music is taking a turn to, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we have to make sure that we know that this is what God called us to do. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it will make if this is your, your vision and what God told you to mm -hmm, do, mm -hmm. doors will just start opening mm -hmm. for you and the way will be made for you. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when I tried to squeeze a door open, it just mm -hmm. wasn't my time. Lord. It wasn't my time. Right, right. And so I had to go back to the, the, the drawing board and ask God, what would you have me to do? That's right, that's right. Um, you know, and, and what... Well, I basically said what I wouldn't do. What I wouldn't do is do it of my own free will. Mm -hmm. Make sure. That God is in everything. I mean, ask his permission for everything down to how should my CD cover look? Oh, wow. Wow. Something even mm -hmm. of that nature. Um, you know, who should I have around me, my background, mm -hmm. my musician. Mm -hmm. I pray about mm -hmm. everybody that's, right. that's, that's right. in my camp. That's right. And tonight was just an example mm -hmm. of how God really moved. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was effortless. You know, my, my, my voice was a little, you know, shaky as far as, you know, I've been sick for a month and a half. But let me tell you something, when the Holy Spirit takes over. Mm -hmm. It just better shut up, girl. You're going to make me cut a rug right <laughs> here. But, but you know, you, you hit on something that we want to uh, talk about a little bit. Tell us about what is prayer? What in your own words? You know, because we go to church and we hear people say things. But can I just say the Lord's Prayer or, or should I just say what comes to my heart? Which one do you think is the best? What does God want? Well, first and foremost, the prayers are the righteous of Bella's mother. That's right. Mm -hmm. And when you have an awesome prayer life and people 
are praying for you as well as your prayers are going mm -hmm. forward. And those just come together. Mm -hmm. And prayer is a conversation with God mm -hmm. in hopes that he will talk back to you. Lord have mercy. Because you have to pray for the right thing. That's right. That's you right. You can't pray for selfish stuff like let me have somebody else's whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Those type of prayers don't get you in That's trouble. right. That's right. But when your prayers are in line with God's will, mm -hmm. oh my God. That's it. That's it. Oh. That's it. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, we need to remember when we go to him in prayer, we need to be sincere. And when, when we finish, we already believe that we have it. That we, you just got to receive. But you know, we have to what? Believe. We have to trust him. And what we got to do, we got to walk it out. Oh, you know, yes. I always say that. Walk and it and it's amazing. God bless your heart. <laughs> Run it out. Amen. I, I, pass, well, I run it out. Amen. Amen. You oh know? my God, that's amazing. Now tell us, how did you choose the label that you with? Oh, Tate Music Group chose me. Oh Lord. That let me tell you, about 2011, they asked me, and and you know, I just really wasn't ready at that time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they came back to me last year, 2013. Oh and God. God said, this is where you need to be. Wow. And blessed be to God, they have just. They have just been a dream for me, and it's multicultural mm. because you know God is colorblind, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so I don't just target one particular mm. genre or one, wow. one, wow. one group or one race. I mean, it's it's internationally known. I'm talking mm -hmm. about, and, and Tate Music has put me in place. Wow, to do that. They are awesome label, um, very very nice people, and they're doing big things. Wow. Like wow. But you know, God, God, we have to be a willing vessel. We have to be humble. He will, like I said, what to say, the floodgates, the floodgates yes. will open, they but we have to open. be humble. We have to be teachable. And we have to be able to give back to others. Because the main reason for us to be what? Blessed yes. is what? To be a blessing. To Amen. A blessing. Amen. Isn't that one? And how do you, this is what I want to know, how do you balance everything? You marry, you have kids, you artist, she's a woman of God, she's a minister, she has a lot of things that you do. Wonderful, I need to change that. Wonderful gifts that she has. We're not going to call them things, but they cost they from God. Well, let, me tell you, <laughs> let, me, let me tell you honestly, prioritization. Yeah, oh. When I tell you, when my feet, when my feet hit the ground in the morning, mm -hmm. and say, God, work my schedule. Mm. Coordinate my day. Mm -hmm. Give me enough wisdom for every hour in this day that wow. you want me to have. And my husband is first. God first, then my husband, mm. then my children, mm. and then ministry. Wow. Have mercy. Your family is your ministry. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. if that gets out of place, we have problems. Wow. And, and the hours in your day go before you even before you know it. Yeah, right. yeah. But when I keep things in their proper order, which is to make sure that my husband is first above anybody mm -mm. or anything. Mm -mm. It seems wow, wow. Well, I have this question because sometimes I get this because I God has really put so many things in my spirit that He wants me to do. What can you tell people that have a lot of things that's coming their way and they do have peace? They they feel that it is from God. Can you do multiple things and still be under God's will? Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely, because I don't just sing, I preach. So <laughs> preaching is above the singing. Mm. And even though you witnessed the singing ministry tonight, uh, my husband and I both are going to be ordained ministry soon, and we're going through together. He's my line brother. Oh, <laughs> wow. Isn't that amazing? God it is, is so like good. It's amazing. And it's amazing. You know, I, I, I told my husband about 12, no, it's been longer than that, about 17 years ago, I saw us on a billboard. Mm. Hallelujah. It just, it just sent chills through my, through my spine because I see now where everything is lining well, everything up. Is everything is lining up. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know what he has. I don't know what God is up Amen. to. Amen. Like the song said, God's up to something. That's, he's up to something. But you know, he gives us glimpses. If he gives us the whole story, we ain't going to act right. Ooh, I just Jesus. be on. You know how we are. Yes. <laughs> we have to make sure we give him all the honor and then the glory in everything we do and say. Absolutely. But tell us again how we can contact you. And of course, to get your mu music. But let me tell you, you know what I always say? Don't bootleg. Make sure you buy it, okay? <laughs> Please, y'all. On Tuesday, you can do at 12.01 mm. after midnight. Tuesday, please go to iTunes. Get me on Billboard, y'all. And that's how we do it. Because gospel music is going. 
yes. more scarce and R&B mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. hip hop and mm -hmm. everything else mm -hmm. is blowing up. But we're not taking care of our own. But you can go to the Tate Music Group uh, mm -hmm. website mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. type my name Marlo Moore. Mm -hmm. Go to iTunes, simply Marlo Moore. CD Baby and Amazon has it for $8.99 right now. Mm -hmm. You can go to Amazon and pre-order and it's yours. Wow, wow. She's a beautiful lady. Beautiful, beautiful lady. And I want to thank you, thank you, thank you for being here with Good Deeds. You know, the thing we, we do here, we want to show you people that God is blessing. God is blessing everybody. But again, as we say, you need to believe in him you need to trust him and you need of course to work it out walk it out excuse me and i like i'm gonna change what i say i like to run it out like marlo run says <laughs> <laughs> but you guys this is good deeds and again we're live here in noonan georgia and you know what that is now because you've looked it up but we're here celebrating what god is doing and marlo's more and her family's life and we want to thank god for all that he's done you i want you to remember that god loves everybody we need to go to him and just say, Lord, use me, okay? And he will take care of the rest, okay? And again, this is Dr. Renee Sunday with Good Deeds. Take care. Hey everybody, I'm the Soul Stringer and one of the performing artists at the Black Women in Jazz Awards Ceremony. Just wanted to take an opportunity to invite you all out on May 2nd to the Rialto Center for the Arts at Georgia State University at 7 p.m. Um, you can go to the website at bwijawards.com. You can view all the other artists that are listed there. You can see who's performing, see who's nominated, and hopefully you all will come out and see who wins. Um, again, that's the Black Women in Jazz Awards Ceremony at the Rialto Center for the Arts at Georgia State University. Um, that's May 2nd at the Rialto Center for the Arts. I hope to see you there. You guys, this is Good Deeds with Dr. Renee Sunday. We had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience hanging out with Marla Moore here live. You guys, please, please, please download and pay for her CD. You know, simply Marla Moore. She sings like a bird. She smooths her spirit. You know, we love music, and music crosses all barriers. We need to encourage each other. We want to help each other. And yes, we are our sisters and our brother's keeper. Whatever you're going through in life, always take it to the Father. Take it to Jesus. He will take care of you. All of her songs goes to the throne. She actually have written the songs and amazing she is able to spread it to the world to encourage people in their walk. Again, please download Simply Marla Moore iTunes, she actually has it. Google her and all her information will come up. I want you to always remember, we love you here at Good Deeds and Good Deeds. This is Dr. Renee Sunday. Have a wonderful evening.